There are some good deals out there if a car happens to be on your holiday list, and some of the latest models aren't much bigger than Santa's sleigh. So how do the smaller cars fare when it matters most in a crash? Chief Consumer Correspondent Lee Thompson has a Dateline Consumer Alert. Chances are the first thing you think of when shopping for a new car is price, and then probably style. That's okay, but don't forget safety. Brake line pressure zero. Nobody keeps a better check on safety than the people at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. They're the ones who do that offset crash test, which simulates a head-on collision just slightly off-center. In this round of testing, five new small and mid-size cars. All were bought right off dealers' lots, which means they have already met federal safety standards, including its flat barrier test, which measures potential head, chest, and leg injuries at 35 miles an hour. The Institute's offset crash test is faster, 40 miles an hour. The compartment has held together very, very well in the crash. Brian O'Neill heads the Institute, which is funded by the insurance industry. The objective is to get manufacturers to design vehicles so safe a driver can literally walk away from a 40 mile an hour crash with at worst only minor injuries. Each car is given a rating of good, acceptable, marginal or poor. Performers that score high in every category can also get a best pick. Can we go to running mode? High desk power is on and we're in running mode. First, the 2002 Suzuki Aereo. The Aereo was good across the board. On its first trip down this runway, the Aereo not only gets the Institute's highest rating, good, but it also earns a best pick. Next, the Toyota Corolla. The last time the Corolla took on the crash test, it only got the second highest rating, acceptable. What we had in this Corolla was a little more intrusion in the foot region than we like to see. Here comes the 2003 Corolla. Once again, problems with one of the dummy's legs. We have some moderately high forces on the right lower leg. Toyota was concerned. Although its 2003 models were already being sold and the Corolla would receive an overall good rating, it decided to make a change and add more energy-absorbing padding to the floor region. Then it asked the Institute to run the Corolla down the runway again. And in the second test, we had perfect performance. As a result, the Toyota Corolla moves up, not just to a good rating, but also a best pick. Toyota says all future Corollas built in 2003 will have this modification. Now the Mini Cooper from BMW. A retro design last sold here in the 60s, making its debut in the crash hall. The Mini pulls in not only a good rating, but a best pick. Now, some mid-size cars. First, the 2002 Audi A4. This is the first time we've tested this model. Uh, it does very well. The A4 rates good with a best pick. This is the Honda Accord. In 1998, it received an acceptable rating. The kind of forces we recorded were sufficient to cause a leg fracture. Now, five years later, how does the Accord do? And now we have very good structural performance everywhere, including the footwell region. The 2003 Honda Accord also gets a best pick. Never has the Institute had a group of cars in one round that did so well in the crash test. Not only did every car get a good, it also got a best pick. And at the Insurance Institute, that means you're the cream of the crop. And here are some other small and mid-size cars rated by the Insurance Institute this year. Mid-size models, the Toyota Camry is a best pick and the Nissan Altima rates a good. 
small cars. The Subaru Impreza and Mitsubishi Lancer are best picks, and the Volvo S40 has a good rating. O'Neill says overall, manufacturers have been improving their designs based on the Institute's offset crash test. When we started this program, we had some criticisms from some automobile manufacturers. But I think today, all of the manufacturers recognize the importance of this test. And for the first time, the Institute is now rating how well vehicles perform inside impact crashes. We'll have those new tests for you in the new year.